Hi, I'm Dennis Brock. This is my Magiscope, and it has a 40x objective on it. Now with the 40x objective on it and the 5x eyepiece on top, the total magnification is 200x because you multiply the 5x eyepiece times the 40x objective. And if you're going to use the 40x, and I don't recommend it for, for, for amateurs, you really have to know what you're doing. I recommend you start it with the 5x eyepiece. The 200x works quite well. It's, it's relatively easy focus con compared to other uh, scopes at this power. And it's a good way to start out. You don't, it's also cheaper. You don't have to buy the 10x uh, eyepiece right off the bat. But when you use this lens, you must use a cover glass. It's figured into the formula. It's actually, the, the cover glass thickness is actually engraved on lenses. That's what that 0 0.17 is. That refers to 17 hundredths of a, micro, of a millimeter, which is the thickness of a cover glass. And when this is in focus, it's right on top of that cover glass. This is a prepared slide. And if I start all the way down, almost touching, using the ramp here. This is the Model 70 ramp that I added after I originally created the 60. This was to give it the fine focusing ability without even adding another part. Uh, so you use that ramp. If you start down as close as you can get to that glass and then come up, you'll be in focus. Go slowly, a little bit goes a long way. This lens has a very small working distance, which is the distance between the end of the lens and the top of the glass. That's the working distance. The, the plane of focus is extremely shallow. You will go right through it, which is why you have to use the ramp and you have to use it slowly. And basically, you're going to be using either prepared slides, which is come in these cases, going to be bought by the thousands in every different subject that you can imagine, or you're going to make your own slides. Now, if you make your own slides, you're going to be using cover glasses, which are very difficult to use, very small, very thin. This is one here, it's a little stained red from previous experiments. But you can see it's very easily broken. But if you wanted to do blood, and you happen to have some, this is corn syrup food, dye and water. You would take your material, one drop at a time, put it in the center of the slide, take your cover glass, drop it on top. It doesn't take much because there are two extremely flat surfaces and it'll come out the side if you use more than a drop. You see how it spread? It spreads out instantly. The thinner what you're looking at is, the better it will appear under the microscope. Blood should be ideally only one cell layer thick. Now, if you were in focus already with the prepared slide, which is what I am right here, more or less, close, I can then take the slide I made and very carefully slide it under my universal rubber band here, which is comes with the microscope. We even give you two of them because they're basically broccoli bands, but they work. This will work for you if you are already in focus with this or if you remember to start as low as you can and then very gradually bring her up. You'll go right through it. You need to bring her down again. Keep in mind that all 40Xs have spring-loaded front mounts. That's to help prevent damage to the glass. I also want to show you what happens if you get this dirty. With the lower power lens, you really can't get it dirty because it's recessed. It's all the way up inside. It's a quarter of an inch wide. It, it takes a lot to mess up the lower power lens. You really have to try, but it takes nothing at all to mess this lens up. If some of your uh, mounting material leaks out the side whatever you, or whatever you put in there, you can get it on here and it's very difficult to get clean. Now, I like to use a little a little Windex and a cotton swab. In this case I'll put some on the slide here because I happen to have it. I could have used the table. I don't want much on there. I want it practically dry and I can actually remove some excess on this clean piece of paper here. And the lens itself is the size of a pinhead so it takes practically nothing. So I twirl and I'm trying to get it down inside there because it's in a slight recess. Then I go to the clean side, and I never touch these because the oil from my fingers will mess it up. And I clean it up. Never spray anything directly on the lens, and never use alcohol as the solvent for that whole 
the cement uh, the hose lens is in place. The cement is the solvent for the cement. And now if you want to check that, your lower power lens can be used as a, as a sort of a loop. You can take it, and if you turn this at a 45 degree angle away from yourself and toward a light, and you place this 4x objective directly on top, move it around so that you can reflect the light off the surface of that uh, objective front lens, and you will see it should be more or less blue. Blue is the coating. It is the color of the coating of the lens. When it's dirty, it's not blue. It's, it's, it looks cloudy, and then there are swirls in it. So that's how to clean that off. And when you, you know, you see how I put this down here? A raw optical person will never put a lens on like that. That's a sign of that you don't know what you're doing. So, as is also the case, when you're traveling with this thing or putting it away, use the objective casing that came with it. And if you don't have one, let us know. We have plenty of these. We can send you a ton. Screw it together, put it in a drawer. Don't leave it on the microscope. It's going to get dirty. And then you've got to clean it off, and it's really difficult to get it perfectly clean. It takes a high degree of skill. Which is why I don't really recommend using these things unless you really need some, some high detail work. Uh, to me, it's, you can't see the forest for the trees when you go too high in power. You're, you're too close to the bark of the tree. You cannot see the leaves. You're not aware of the roots. You're not aware of the other, other trees in the forest. Try to stay low for perspective. You go high when you need to take a close look at something. And what you can do, you can, whatever you center down here, whatever you're looking at, you center it at the lower power at either the 4x objective or the 10x objective. Leave it like that and uh, pull your optical tube out, remove your lens, take your other one out, put it on, and you're ready for business. Try not to touch the end. Stay away from it, put her on the ramp, start at the top, go down till you can see it's just above the slide, and then crank her up a little bit, you should be fine. And I think that's pretty much it. Let us know if we can help you, and thanks again.